Well, Meyer is where we were telling everybody to come to get baby formula there for a while. Now, I don't know, not so much. Good morning. Today we're here at Meyer. We're going to go and check out some of the sales prices for the week. Some of the things you guys have asked about and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, as soon as we come into Meyer here, I notice they have rolled out their 7 for 7 deal. Now how this works, it's similar to Kroger, but these products will all be a dollar once you get to that seventh item or more. You do have to buy seven or more, but each item on this sale will be one dollar. So pretty good deal. Looks like peppers are included. Notice they have their tomatoes on the vine, $1.49 a pound this week. And they have their sweet onions here, um, 88 cents a pound. Good deal. Although we are seeing less and less sales on Gala and Granny Smith apples. These are $1.79 a pound. However, they do have the Pink Lady and Fuji apples on sale this week in Meyer, $1.49 a pound. So we have avocados, mangoes, and these giant oranges here. All part of this seven for seven. Again, get to that seventh item. Anything seven or over, these items will all be a dollar. So even though the regular price of one pound strawberries here at Meyer has gone back up to $3.99, they are on sale this week for $1.99, so keep that in mind. And also, the blueberry pints here, they're back up to $3.15. They keep going up in price. $2.59 for a six ounce pack of the blackberries and raspberries, although regular price is $3.49, they are on sale for $2.49 this week. They do have the three pound bags of Michigan Gala apples here. Three pound bag for $3.99. Regular price on these now, $4.99. So a little bit of a deal. And the Fuji Michigan apples, $3.99 down from $4.99. Honeycrisp apples, uh, $7.39 regular price now, um, $5.99 for a three pound bag on sale this week. I had a feeling that these would be on this deal this week. They got the broccoli crowns here at Meyer, part of that seven for seven deal. Seven for seven dollars or more, so you can go over that. Uh, and everything over seven will be a dollar. I will try to quit talking about that, but I want to make sure everybody knows the deal. Uh, regular price on these have dropped from $1.69 to $1.49. However, they are part of that deal this week, makes, making them $1. The one pound package of Bolt House carrots. We get a lot of comments on these. We saw uh, a little over a month ago, they weren't getting them in uh, anywhere. We got a lot of comments across the country that nobody could find uh, bags of carrots. Not particularly Bolt House, but we saw Bolt House was just the ones that we couldn't find. They did drop the regular price of these from $1.29 to $1.09, but this is part of the seven for seven or more deal this week. We are always getting comments on the Earthbound Farm organic different green mixes here, spring mix. All of these this week are $2.99 on sale down from $3.49. I wanted to check out some of the peppers here. The ones up front didn't look all that great. This is all they have. Um, they have put the bagged over here. These are $3.15 uh, for these, the three pack. But that's all they have. They, this is all the single peppers that they have other than the ones we saw up front. Huh. One thing I always talk about on the channel is when you find a sale, you know, it'd be good to stock up some on it. Looks like people are starting to do that. Uh, the only sale on potatoes I see this week are the five pound bags. They only have two of them. Honestly, this one doesn't look that good. Uh, it's on sale for $2.99 down from $4.49. But yeah. Over the last couple weeks, getting closer to St. Patrick's Day, we've been getting comments on corned beef. They have the Meyer corned beef round flat cuts here, uh, $3.99 a pound. That's down from $6.99 a pound. We continue to see the regular prices go up and down on meat. They're calling this a sale. Um, $4.99 a pound this week for the $85.15. It was $5.99 a pound regular price. Uh, we saw it come down to $4.99 a pound regular price. Now they're calling it a sale, so I'm sure it's going to be going back up. They also have the Chuck Eye Roast here, $4.99 a pound. Regular price on this now, $7.39 a pound. Oscar Meyer Bacon is on sale for the center cut here. Uh, actually, these are on sale too. $5.99 a package, down from $8.39, not too bad.
Not as good of a sale as it was last week. They, uh, the family packs of chicken breasts were $1.99 on sale last week. Still on sale, but it's $2.49 a pound now, which is still down from $3.09 a pound. So still a good deal. Um, hopefully some people bought it up last week when it was $1.99 a pound. They do have chicken drumsticks family packs here. It's good until March 11th. Also, today is March 6, 2023, just for point of reference. Uh, reference, reference, <laughs> 99 cents a pound, guys. I mean, that's a great deal. We love Meyer chicken. It's fantastic. And a killer deal here, $1.99 a pound for chicken wings. Regular price on this is $3.49 a pound. So good deal there. Lots of sales on fish this week, guys. Uh, if you're eating fish for Lent, um, yeah, they've got some different salmon pieces here. Buy one, get one, 40% off. And they also have something else here. Buy three or more select frozen seafood products. Get $6 off your next shopping trip to Meijer. Kind of strange that they have taken the sale down for the CPAC and the Vanda Camp and the Gorton's Fish. We'll have to see if this is still on sale at Kroger. I don't know. Usually they have this on sale all throughout Lent. Not now. We got a couple comments to check out ham. Um, really hasn't come in yet. Uh, as we get closer to Easter, uh, we'll start seeing some more and some more on sale. This stuff is ridiculously overpriced right now. I would just wait a couple weeks. We'll be covering this as we go along. As most people know by now, um, people have been stocking up on water around here. And I got to say, good job, Meyer. For getting all this water in i know it doesn't look like much but if you remember previous videos uh, that i've done over the last couple years meyer meyer has really struggled to get in water now this is 10 cents cheaper than kroger kroger's is a dollar 29 a gallon they do have a good amount of distilled water here this was one that they could never get in um, ice mountain did go back up in price to 549 still cheaper than kroger regular price at 599 and not as many like cases of water, but at least they're getting it in now. No sales on tuna really, but I gotta say, Meyer does have an excellent selection of different tunas. They got the big cans of the albacore bumblebee tuna that some people were asking about, $4.79 for that. Um, well, they got a four pack here. Now these are the smaller cans, but $4.99, that's down from $6.49. Um, and the regular price here on Starkist Tuna is still $1.15. That's for a regular price. That's about the cheapest we can find it. And they do. They have all kinds of different mackerel, sardines, smoked rainbow trout. I mean, they've got a good selection. This kind of reminds me of Publix, like down south. Um, if you shop at Publix, doesn't this kind of look familiar? Um, just all kinds of different uh, tuna options, seafood options here. They've got the... Uh, Bumblebee pink crab meat, which is actually on sale, $2.89 down from $3.19. And then they also have the tuna creations on sale for $0.99 cents a pack. It's been a big sale around Cincinnati lately. We always get a lot of comments on these. Stock up on them before they go back up in price. Well, I noticed regular price finally went up on the 12.5 ounce cans of the chunk chicken breast. These were $3.99. $3.99 forever. They kept at that price. Some people were thinking maybe they didn't change the sticker. Probably, I don't know, but $4.29 now, which is crazy. Uh, what's even crazier is $5.99 for one of these regular price at Kroger. Now, they are on sale for $2.99, and this sale is good until March 18th, 2023. Something good that'll last a long time in your pantry. With all these prices going up, guys, we have to pay attention to every nickel. R. Meyer does sell the canned Keystone. We get more and more comments on these lately. Uh, the beef here at Meyer is $10.79, $9.19 for the pork and the chicken. If you're looking for some more shelf stable items that are pretty good, if you ask me, and we get a lot of comments on the Denty Moore, $5.89 for the big can of it here, $6.49 at Kroger, $2.99 for the smaller 15 ounce can, uh, $2.99 at Kroger, $2.65 here, $3.49 now for this one at Kroger, 309 here. So all three of these are a cheaper price here at Meyer. Um, Spam did go up a little bit. These went from 359, we saw them go to 379. Now they're 385. To be fair, we've been seeing most of these at like 399 in most stores, so. Now there was a recall 
recently and i'm sure that's all over with or they wouldn't have these on the shelves but look at the price of these armor vienna sausages now dollar nine dollar nine never i will never pay that they have the libby's corned beef down here look at the price on this now 609 609 these were 499 last year um the highest i've seen these have been 599 so might be going up again always getting comments on those um skyline chili this is pretty popular if you're around cincinnati but 669 is way too much that is abs that's ridiculous uh some of the hormel chilies here though um these are a big difference in prices here some of these like this would be the angus 319 for this one but good to see that they have variety of a lot of these because we're always getting comments on hormel chilies if you shop at Meyer a lot and you like these Amy's Organic Soups, you should probably take part in this buy six or more of select soup products. Get $1.50 off your next shopping trip or buy $10 worth and get $3 off. I do believe this includes different soups too. Yeah, it's Progresso's included um, with all this. It might be all soups. We'll just... We'll just kind of walk down the aisle here and check. Yes, still included with Campbell's. They've actually had the sale going on for a little while. It's good until March 18th, 2023. And yeah, it does include a good amount. Oh, also the, um, well, now these aren't 99 cents anymore. These were on sale for 99 cents. It's a little confusing. You spend $6 on soups, you get $1.50 off your next shopping trip. You spend $10, you get $3 off your next shopping trip. So if you shop at Meijer a lot, this could be worth it to you. Found another item on the buy seven or more. Get them for a dollar each. We're just going to call it like that. Uh, the Meyer here, the broth. Meyer broth is just fine, uh, especially for a dollar. Regular price, $1.69. I did want to say, if you guys want to check out all of these, especially the ones in your area, you can go online and they'll have a list of everything. You can even pull up their ad and they usually put them. Oh, look at that. Nor pasta sides is on there. Roma pizzas, Chibani yogurt. Want to kind of check on some shelf stable items, so we're just going to kind of look over this here for a second. Got Jello there, Powerade for a dollar. Yeah, yeah, this could be worth it. We get a lot of comments on Chibani there. Checking out some of the world food options. I wanted to look at some of this rice here, guys. This is getting bought up too. Um, you know, we've seen where they've even added more stuff in here. It's used to cover this whole bottom aisle here. And um, these are a little more expensive, but arguably taste better. Um, they have some of the big bags of basmati rice here, product of India. 10 pounds for $17.49. So yeah, it's a little pricey, but I don't know. We're always getting comments on this, so wanted to check it out. So they do have a lot more beans and rice than they had last week. Um, they were pretty cleaned out. I will say these prices are going up. We are seeing prices go up on beans, guys. So when you find a good deal on it, I want to buy up some. I think this price on the one pound Meyer bag is actually wrong because we see that the, the brown rice bag, both of these are one pound packages. This one up to $1.29. These were the same. These were both 99 cents. So maybe that one's still 99 cents. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's definitely more than what they had last week. But this stuff is starting to fly off the shelf. So if you are trying to stock in your pantry uh, with some rice and beans, I recommend getting it sooner than later. Let me know down in the comments if anybody likes couscous. I do. It's on sale for $1.99 this week. Oh, they also have the uh, rice aroni packs here on sale, seven for seven, making these a dollar a piece. Regular price here, $1.25. When the Kroger sale is over, Kroger's has these for a dollar also, but their regular price is going up to $1.49 a box. So I wouldn't be surprised if Meyer follows. So good time to stock up on these. Okay, so the six packs of ramen here. We're getting a lot of comments on ramen lately. It's something good that you can get creative in your meals, have some fillers. You know, you don't have to just eat ramen. You know, I'll take like chicken breast and kind of uh, mix some ramen in with that. Plus the, the seasoning gives the chicken good flavor. Um, I did want to point out though that their 12 packs went up. Their 12 packs went up from last week. They are now the same price as Kroger. These were $3.45 last week, now $3.79. So uh, the Kroger six packs of ramen are $2. I wouldn't be surprised if these follow. They, they've been $1.69 here for a while, but funny to see these go up and not these. So 
we get to Meyer and stock up or you know we saw the big 12 packs at um, Walmart for three dollars and 68 cents so they've gone up there too but still cheaper than this we've gotten a ton of comments lately on half and half coffee creamer and heavy whipping cream uh, and we saw at Kroger the other day they were pretty much wiped out of both um, Meyer does a good job of getting this stuff in uh, we were when we had this issue about a year ago we were telling people to go to Meyer because they were some of the this was like the only store that had it um, $1.99 for the small one here it used to be $4.99 for the carton but it's gone up to $5.29 uh, and that's probably what's going on they're probably trying to figure out how they're going to raise the price again so I was hoping to show you guys a cheaper price on Bigelow Tea. We've been getting more and more comments because they've been going up in price. Uh, we've seen them $3.19 at Kroger um, and $3.19 at Walmart. $3.39 now here. These were $2.99. Now $3.39, making them the most expensive on Bigelow Tea. That is unfortunate. An okay deal on the Zazo tea. Uh, probably the two most we get comments on are Bigelow tea and Zazo tea. Zazo is on sale for $349 this week, down from $409. Looks like Folgers is getting hit pretty good here. Um, they're not even on sale. $10.99 regular price, and Maxwell House is $9.99 here, $10.49 at Kroger. Also, for these canisters right here, are $11.49 at Kroger, so a little bit cheaper here at Meyer. The first M Perks deal that I have seen since being in here today, the Mick Cafe, two for $12. Uh, so two for $12 is the sale. If you use your M Perks digital coupon, it's an extra dollar off that. So you would, you still have to get two of them, but it brings it down to $11 for both. So five fifty dollars a box. Looks like they have the Meyer Fredericks brand on sale. Good time to maybe try some new coffee, some cheaper ones for sure. Uh, one that I like is the Fredericks Michigan Cherry. Use the ground for that though, so I don't know what the pods taste like, but they are $4.99 this week. And that's just a sale, no extra purchase required. Starbucks ground coffee and the pods are both on sale this week for $7.99. Down from $9.49 for the pods, $7.99 on sale, and then $9.99 now for the ground, but on sale for $7.99. That sale here does include the two, two for 12 or two for 11 with the digital coupon by the uh, Mick Cafe ground coffee. They also have ground Duncan on sale for $7.99. Not on sale, but I did want to point out that Meyer has the eight o'clock hazelnut coffee, which somebody asked about. We did find that at Kroger also. It is $6.49 for 11 ounces. Good to see Meyer is getting some sugar back in here. Last week we saw this was completely wiped out and it was like two weeks in a row. Um, good to see this showing that at least it's coming in. People could be buying it up because it's $2.19, making it the cheapest around right now. Um, they do have Domino. Domino's been going for $4.49 everywhere. They were completely out of it last week, though. Uh, so good to see that's coming back in. Four-pound bag for $4.49. And unless you need an overpriced tub here, don't get this. Don't get this tub of Domino. That's only three and a half pounds. You're basically paying for the plastic. If you're looking for some stuff to stock up on to get you many meals, I know with with everything going on and benefits being cut down and just the whole the whole thing is just crazy guys the world is crazy times right now but you know what peanut butter can make a lot of sandwiches so wanted to point out the peanut butter aisle here let's see what this big one is right here 6.99 so uh same price as kroger for 40 ounces i believe it's still 10.98 at sam's club for two 48 ounce 48 ounce things of peanut butter so way cheaper if you got a sam's club membership even the meyer brand has gone up to 439 this is 40 ounces uh let me know down below if you like the meyer brand i wasn't a big fan of it um i would if i had to choose a store brand it would probably be kroger um i do like kroger peanut butter but even their small ones have been a dollar 79 219 here though for a small one at uh meyer so that's pretty pricey 
I almost forgot to mention this too. Somebody said they hadn't been able to find Nutella. We had this issue a few months ago. Somebody else had asked about it and I couldn't find it anywhere. Meyer didn't have it. Um, but now it seems to be coming in full force here. Uh, it is getting a little pricey though. These were $7.99 up to $8.19. These big ones here were $9.99 up to $10.49 now. So again, that could have been what it is. This looks kind of like new, new advertising. It's funny, like the advertising looks like it's getting cheaper and the prices are going up. So I don't know, maybe they're doing that to try and save, you know, a little bit here and there to not make the prices skyrocket, but... I will say Meyer does have a good selection of other type butters too. A little pricey, but uh, let's see. Got some organic ones up here too. Someone said grape jelly had gone up in price. We saw where it disappeared for the longest time around here. We were getting comments that nobody could find it. So, I mean, it was affecting people all around the country. Um, but now it looks like there's plenty of it. Um, same prices as it was before here. $3.99 for the bigger one. This was $3.05. So... Um, $2.85 for the small Welches, same price, uh, $3.99 for the bigger one. So, yeah, no price changes here at Meyer, but we'll have to check Kroger and some other stores, see if they've gone up there. They do have the big cans of baked beans here, Bush's Baked Beans at Meyer for $0.10 cents cheaper than it is at Kroger. Uh, this is the one thing I can say over the last year has not changed in price. These have been $2.59 here at Meyer. Uh, we saw a little over a year ago they were $2.39 there for a while. They went up, but the ones at Kroger have been $2.69 for as long as I can remember. Um, these big cans of beans go a long way. Del Monte is still the same prices here. $1.45 for your regular run-of-the-mill green beans, peas, um, car or <laughs> peas and carrots. No, carrots are actually $1.55, which is ridiculous. Uh, green beans, peas, and corn are $1.45 here, though. But one thing I wanted to show... Look at the Meyer vegetables. I'm, I'm telling you guys, because everything is getting so expensive, we're going to start seeing these go off the shelves more and more. So when you find these vegetables for 59 cents, you know, Aldi's is 58 cents. Um, Walmart is still 58 cents for most of theirs. When we find these deals, this is what I'm expecting to go up next. Now, Kroger, we already seen where they've gone up to 89 cents a can, some of them even 99 cents a can. So time to stock up on some of these if you need them. I know I went over this, but this is a good deal, guys. It's another filler item, something you can store away for a while. Uh, seven for seven deal, part of this seven for seven or more. Dollar a bag down from $1.33. Regular price at Kroger, $1.39. So we got another comment on distilled white vinegar and that it's been very low in some of your stores. Just wanted to check here and yeah, this is... I'll tell you what, it's not too shocking. Uh, every few months, it seems like we have a little bit of a shortage on distilled white vinegar. Uh, that could have to do with a lot of people canning their food items. You know, the, everything's getting so expensive. You know, when we find a sale, you know, people are starting to can their meats and stuff like that. Um, and that could be part of this. Not really sure, but I will say this. Meyer is always full on distilled white vinegar. I've, I don't think I've ever seen it this low. Okay, so I guess they didn't put the signs out in the main aisle, but I was just walking past this, and it's even in the ad. I'm glad I saw this, because these are a dollar. Uh, all the 10.5 ounce, uh, well, it could just be the, the ones out here that are, maybe that's why they did it. Maybe it's just the chicken and tomato. Well, they've got the cream of soups here, too. Uh, maybe just the ones that are regularly $1.29, but yeah, at least the chicken noodle and tomato soups are part of the 7 for 7 or more deal this week. This is absolutely ridiculous, guys. How does this happen? And I know, it's like I hate to keep going over the same things, and I, I start to sound like a broken record, but my goodness. Where is all the damn baby formula? This is absurd. This is absurd. They have the sensitivity Meyer Premium, right? But again, ask your pediatrician. I know a lot of people ask for the Similac Sensitive, and it even says to compare to that, but I would still ask a pediatrician first. I don't... This this is upsetting. I mean, they're, it doesn't even look like they're getting it in. They don't even have any on the side cabinet. Uh, they have one thing, the, this liquid stuff that I don't know if anybody uses because I don't see it ever getting bought up. $9.99 for maybe a couple bottles. A few bottles, maybe. 
This is absolutely absurd. They have got to get this together. Well, guys, that was our trip to Meyer. I, I don't know what we're going to do with this whole baby formula thing. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know why it can't keep coming in. We're seeing more and more fly off the shelves like what it was a year ago. And it's, you know, I'm in these stores every day, right? So it's like, I see what's going on. You guys see what's going on. It's frustrating. You know, we're getting comments of some stores not having any baby formula. And this was at the top of the list of things that were going to be on shortages of 2023. Like we haven't been working on this. You know, it's just, it, it's kind of frustrating. Um, and I hate to go out on that note. And I, sorry if I, you know, I got a little frustrated there, but it's, they have like none, like that could be bought up in seconds. And it's more stuff that we're seeing too, like Pedialyte, those kind of things, you know, the stuff that helps upset stomachs. Kind of like what I need right now for an upset stomach, stressing out these high prices. <laughs> all in all though, good trip to Meyer. Uh, the seven for seven deal, see if you can work it out for yourself. I didn't buy any peppers. I still have some frozen. Um, there was only a handful and they didn't look all that great. Uh, and guys, the baby formula thing, that is not a Meyer issue. This is an issue all around the country. So I don't want to blame or point the finger at Meyer, you know, because it's not their fault. They can't, if they can't get it in, they can't get it in. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let us know what you guys think. Also, share our videos to your social media. Help us spread the word. It really helps our channel out a lot, and it informs a lot more people. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is out there. Thank you.